Hi there, welcome to Tucker's Reviews. In this episode, a game has been chosen by my excellent Patreon supporters at the patreon.com slash Tuckers. And you can also support me there, and by doing that you can vote on the next game I'm going to review. So this time I chose this I not I chosen, but they've chosen this uh, what's it called? The city rules. What? Oh, <laughs> it's on the <this> side. <laughs> Abyss. Yeah, the game has a lot of graphics, and uh, you can actually just take a coffee and uh, enjoy the nice artwork. Oh, it's my turn. Oh, sorry, I'm just uh, studying the art. Let's see. Let's see how this game works. Hello. Usually in games, when you have currency involved, you use paper money or tokens or chips. But here they're taking a step extra. You have these plastic cups here. They're not worth anything. But inside you put pearls. Yeah, pearls are currencies. And of course they're round and will roll everywhere, but we have nice plastic cups to keep them in. So, <laughs> yeah, it's just great. On my turn, I have three options. One, I can go on an expedition here. Two, I can get uh, help from the council and pick one of these decks to get in my hand. Or three, I can pick from one of the, these lords at the bottom here and uh, spend my influence to gain the support. But right now, I'm going to go on an ex expedition here. So what I do is I flip a card, like so. And these cards go from one to five, and uh, one, two, three, four, five different colors. Uh, and now I have to start uh, a purchasing round around the table. I have to ask the players to the left, do you want to buy this card for one pearl? And this is a, uh, it's a predefined value, one. But this is a one, so probably I'll get no, so no around the table, okay. Aha, a monster. Now I have an option to either take the value that's here, next to the monster, or I can move the monster token one step further. I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna go further. A green one, again, around the table, and a red five, okay. This is going to go to the player to my left, so he's going to pay me one pearl if he has one, and he will take it, <laughs> I can guarantee it. Uh, okay, so, I continue now. A three. This time, the card will cost two pearls, because the previous one was already bought, and the player who bought the previous card can't buy this one as well. So, two, card, two pearls for a three, no, no. Probably not, but I can take it myself if I want to. Then I stop at expedition. But I'm going to push further. Aha! I got another three. Uh, this one I have to take immediately. But I also get a pearl for going so far. So, hmm, okay, I got a pearl from the back and the card. Uh, the rest of the cards, the monsters are discarded, and uh, the other cards are going to their corresponding places here in the council. So green is here, and green is there, and red is there. Uh, so that is one thing in the game. Uh, here you see the color very brightly. The purple cards go there, but when you cover it up like so, it's not that easy to see. And yeah, you have the colors here on the on the banners, but still you're looking at the card. Uh, where's the purple? Is it? No, okay. Look at the symbol. No, uh, ah, there it is. So not so easy. To gain influence on the uh, lords here, I need to pay the cost down here. So in this case, I need to have 10 blue cards, you see? It's a blue symbol and 10. But this one has bubbles above it. So that means I have to pay with six, uh, I have to pay six in total or more, but I have to have red cards. But I also need to have two other colors. So I cannot pay with only reds. I have a lot of reds in my hand. So, but I can pay with uh, three and Six, so now I have the value, but I need one more color and seven for instance. So I use these to buy this card and gain influence. Also, I get to keep the lowest value card in my hair and put them face up in front of me. And this is for end scoring purposes. So to buy these cards, you need to have the right, the right collection of colors and values. And you can also use spend your pearls to. Uh, increase the value, but you still need the colors. And with these lords, the game becomes really interesting. Uh, a lot of the lord lords have a great power here, beyond, below, I mean. Uh, and these powers can really boost your uh, process along the game. But, you see, they also have, some of these also have a key here, 
like this one doesn't have a key but he has a one-time ability and uh, this one is just points no keys or abilities uh, these however give you great benefits i think i haven't read, read them uh, but as soon as you get a third key in form of a token or a third key on the card you have to take a location to control a location and then you take this deck here you can look through a lot of them or take one of them that is open and then you take all these lords onto that location and you see you cover up all the text below so you lose all the benefits from them you just get the points at the end of the game and points on this card so by having this mechanism you really encourage the owners of these cards to not go any further too fast because they have to withhold because if they get too much they will lose this ability yeah well, like get points maybe but oh they want to keep these abilities this is a very nice uh, thing in the game and uh, it really balances thing up if you have one player that gets ahead because of these lords because then they will get behind again if they don't continue and get these locations so a very nice balancing well there are many empty spaces now on the lord space uh, this is because when you buy a card we don't refill it but uh, when you have two cards less or two cards or less then we refill it so if you're the one to buy the last card to make it two remaining, you will give the next player four new cards to look at and purchase. And you don't really want that. That's a nice thing. Anyway, after you purchase it, we shove, shove the rest of the cards here and receive two pearls. So you purchase the card and you get two pearls. So this will incentivize you to buy lords even though you will give the next player uh, new options. So it's a nice thing to have. So, okay, that's Abyss. You basically know the rules now for the game. And uh, the gameplay is really simple, it flows very well. And uh, all these things in the game always incentivize you to do something uh, that maybe you really wouldn't do uh, other times. But even though these uh, effects are in the game and uh, the graphics are nice, I never had the, ooh, I really want to play Abyss now. I, I really miss playing Abyss. Uh, it's like... It's a, it's a game, it's a, it's a solid game as well, but it's nothing special about it, except for the graphics. The artwork is fantastic, but I never really miss playing Abyss. Sure, I can play it if you ask me, I have no problem playing this game, but <laughs> I've never had a feeling of, I want to play Abyss again! Uh, so nothing, nothing special about it, except for the artwork. Okay, no, no, now I'm repeating myself, ain't I? So, yeah, that's it. Uh, it's an easy game to recommend, and it's an easy game to sell to players to get on the table to play on the table and play with them, because yeah, I'll just look at it. But uh, game-wise, it's it's okay. It is. So that's it. Thank you for watching. And uh, again, please check out my Patreon account to see how you can affect uh, which game I'm going to review in the future. And you can support me in other ways as well, like sharing and liking and uh, commenting me on this video. That's I really like that as well. Okay, thanks for watching. See ya. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.